So in a situation like that, if your child is um, in a dangerous area, dangerous environment, whatever, isn't it, yeah? To be reactive, so if you're reactive, what you do is you move out. You save up your money, you move out, innit, yeah? To be proactive, yeah? So you don't even put yourself in that position, man. Yeah? This is, man, I'm going to get deep on this one now, innit, yeah? We have to start off with the women, yeah? The women are picking the waste, man, yeah? Get impregnated by the waste, man, and having children by them, man. So what happens is, they get impregnated by a waste man, yeah? He don't have business about looking after his children. He leaves a single mum, yeah? She's probably young, yeah? She's probably between the age of 20 and 30 years old, whatever, isn't it, yeah? She ain't got no career, man. So you're having a child by a man, yeah, who is a waste man, and you don't have no career, so that means you ain't got no money to back your child, right? You're having a, you're having a child with this waste man, yeah? He's going to cut off and probably have three, four kids elsewhere, whatever, isn't it, yeah? Now you're suck with a child, yeah? You ain't got no money, you ain't got no career, you ain't got nothing, yeah? Then you rely on the government. You rely on the government to house you somewhere, yeah? And the government, they don't give a fuck. The council don't give a fuck. They will house you in some... Listen, you know how many people out here are fighting? Yeah, there's people out here fighting, yeah? To get a home, get a property, yeah? To, to rent off the council. I used to work for the council. I used to work for Home Harangate. When we used to have the viewings, yeah? All 10 men, yeah, all line up outside the yard, you know, you would have I thought it was the um, fucking the food bank or something like that. All of these people bidding for this property, man. Yeah? So what happens is you ain't got no choice nowadays, yeah? You ain't got no choice about oh, picking that property, picking this property, whatever, isn't it, yeah? So what happens is they they get lumped with some shit apartment, right, or shit flat or whatever, innit, in some rough council state, whatever, innit, yeah? And then they want to sit back and say, oh, push your government this and push your government that. They, look, look, look what they've done, yeah? Look where they put me and my child. They put me, me and my child on this rough estate where it's dangerous, isn't it? Nah, nah, you put your child on that rough estate. Yeah? It was you that decided to lie down with a waste man, yeah, who's not going to look after his kid, yeah, instead of vetting him out. Yeah? Instead of doing your background research, yeah, instead of getting pretty, instead of using fucking contraception and using protection. Yeah? So I think a lot of it lies with the women, yeah. You can all moan about men being waste men, this, that, whatever, and yeah, yeah, they're waste men, they don't business about their children, they're waste men. Yeah, they don't business, yeah. So they will impregnate a woman and then disappear. Yeah, go breed up one, two guys here and there, yeah, they don't care. They're on business. So I put the onus on the women, right? It's not solely their fault, obviously. It takes two to tango. It takes two to, you know, create a baby unless it's called my Virgin Mary out here. But at the end of the day, the women are the ones that are lumped with the children. Not the, not the men. The men are waste men. Yeah? So to not even put yourself in a position where you're in some rough council state on Sockwell, in Sockwell or Brixton or, or, or Tottenham or whatever, innit? Yeah? Don't sleep around with waste men. Yeah? Get your career together. Yeah? Pick a decent man. Yeah? Then, right, everyone goes through hard times, whatever, innit? You might start off in a council house, I get it. Yeah? But if you pick a decent man, you pick a right man, right? Boom, you two can mash a bit of money together. After a few years, three, four, five years, remember, the U is more, yeah? The U is ain't even a year old, yeah? So you got five, six, seven years old, right? You got five, six, seven years to prepare for this child for when he starts to grow up and learn and be, you know, influenced by his environment to get him out, right? So if the women, if the women were, you know, more proactive, yeah? Not sleeping around with waste men, yeah? And they found a decent man, whatever in it, yeah? When times get a bit hard, yeah. Or, you know, they're in a rough area because not everyone can start off in a nice area and get in it, yeah? They can mash a bit of money together and save up for five years and go and move out to a... You don't have to be, you know, you don't have to be a, the amazing suburbs or, you know, the best area in the world, isn't it? Yeah? But just an area that's, you know, quite safe, yeah? So, for example, boom, I don't know, somewhere like Chapel Heath or something like that. Yo, cuz, what a Somewhere like Chadwell Heath, yeah, that's a safe place, right? Well, I think so anyway. Yeah. Well, at least it probably was before. And you know, these surrounding areas, they're all getting kind of infected by the, the gang violence and that. Yeah. But maybe move out to somewhere like Chadwell Heath, yeah, which is a more safer environment. Yeah. Instead of, you know, maybe on the rough estates in Hackney, relying on the government to move your child out, move your family out, move yourself out, move your family out.
But it's easier to just sit back and complain and say, yeah, man, it's pussy your government, this and that. And, you know, they ain't, they ain't doing nothing to help us black people. And they ain't helping us. Well, why don't you help yourself out? But they don't want to do it. You know why? Because that means, oh, sacrifice. Yeah, They don't want to make sacrifice. They don't want to sacrifice three, four years living a minimalistic lifestyle. Yeah, Maybe having to work Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, maybe not having to see their family members and their friends. Yeah, maybe having to move out of the area where they might not see their family members and friends. Maybe they can only see their family members and friends once every three, four months. Yeah, you know, once they move out to this area because they move out so far. First and foremost, yeah, some of these family members and friends are probably chatting shit about them behind their back anyway. Yeah, you know, they just don't know it.